If you've ever configured a DHCP server on a Cisco device, whether it be a layer three switch or a router, and you go to verify it using the show IP DHCP binding command, everybody gets their mind blown the first time they see the output because they're expecting to see an IP address to MAC address mapping, and it's not quite that way, sorta. Take a look. So I just set this up. I've, I've got a uh, lab environment. I'm, I'm teaching the CCNA 2020 for CBT Nuggets right now. You can see that I've got a Mac plugged in right here. It's got an IP address. I also have uh, this switch actually is a DHCP client. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm logged into the router right now where I can configure the DHCP server. So first off, I'm going to show you the show run. Let's do a section uh, DHCP. Uh, to show you what I got. Set up a DHCP pool called server for VLAN 10, that's just my name. Excluded a few addresses, here's the pool and all of that configuration, right? I'm gonna do a uh, show IP DHCP binding, which you would expect to see a nice clean table showing here's the IP address and here's the MAC address. And you do sorta, that's what I'm saying. First off, the, the very observant person would see this and go, that's not, a MAC address, or maybe it is, but it's got an extra couple characters on the end of it. Well, truth be told, it has a couple extra characters on the front of it. Uh, zero one actually represents the client ID. See, every client that plugs in that is an Ethernet client, so an Apple computer, a Windows computer, an Xbox 360, whatever it is, is gonna have a client ID of zero one because that's an Ethernet-based device. This is actually the MAC address of my Apple computer right here. It just has all of the decimal pieces, pieces or decimal place, decimal points in completely the wrong places, right? So, so uh, when you're trying to figure out what are the MAC addresses of all your devices, you actually have to take off the zero one off the front of them. Now, <laughs> what of what about that? What is that atrocity? Well, this is actually my layer three switch. I have a uh, VLAN interface assigned on this guy and I did IP address DHCP. So it actually sent out a DHCP request and little known fact in the DHCP broadcast, the client can identify a whole bunch of stuff about itself. Like, hey, I'm a Cisco switch. Hey, this is for my VLAN 10 interface. Hey, this is, you know, all, all of that information. And the, the Cisco DHCP server says, I'm just gonna display all of that right here. Now, the question you're probably having is, well, how do I figure out where the MAC address, I mean, what is all of that? And how do I figure out where the MAC address is? Well, the tip that I'm gonna give you right now, this first piece right here identifies the client ID. It identifies what kind of client it is. Matter of fact, um, check this out. Um, I'm gonna open uh, a web browser. Um, why don't you, you try this with me. You can, you can try this in your own lab. Hex to ASCII converter, right? There we go. Um, grab this first one, rapid tables. Yeah, perfect. So I'm gonna paste that hex output I just grabbed from there and hit convert. <laughs> Look at that. So that is actually the hexadecimal representation for the word Cisco with a couple zeros in front of it, right? Um, so, and, and then right after that, that's the actual MAC address of the device. The rest of this is a jumbling of port IDs, like what port the, the, the message came out on, where it came in on. Like for instance, if, I'll just grab this, this last little chunk right there, five, you know, right, right there. Let's put that in here. Um, Pays, ooh, a little word wrap-ness going on. I'll hit convert on that and it's going, oh, VL10. What do you think that is? It's the VLAN 10 switch virtual interface on that device. So, so if you are using a Cisco DHCP server, all kinds of madness ensues when you're trying to do this. I thought it was totally a bad idea to do it this way. I, because as a engineer, I just want to see the Mac addresses to IP addresses. All this other stuff should have been like a detail command or something like that. But who's listening? Cisco? Cisco?